can't turn down a ride on a day like this. Can't turn down a day a ride on a day like this, I said. Is this it? Yeah. I don't know, so I don't have to say it on the video. I just point at something sometimes. Watch out for that gravel. <laughs> yep. There might be a big dip down there. There might be a dip down there. Left. No kidding. No, but I floated pretty high. a little braver now that I got that skid plate on there. Don't have to worry about the rocks. That flatland racing skid plate is like really good. No doubt. Even out here, you can, uh, you know, on the gravel roads, you could throw a rock up off of your front tire and it hit the engine case and left. <laughs> Barely telling you in time. Uh, and hit your engine case and crack it or anything, you know. 
because that plastic stock skid plate ain't worth a flip. Straight. If we get to the highway, we'll go straight across. Of course, we'll have to wait for the cars. <laughs> this uh, drift skid plate, too. It sticks out far enough on the left side here that it cover it uh, protects my shifter. So if I lay it over, it'll protect the shifter. Or from hitting brush or something, it makes it where the brush will go around the shifter and not bend it. That's like a really cool thing right there. You ain't joking. That's what old Static Nomadic needed him and his son when they was going through that brush. And that's the best fitting skid plate I've ever had. I never had one that bolts on that factory bolts and bolts that good and fits that good. I didn't mean to. No hot girl says I have a problem with that keeping that front tire on the ground. Yeah, that's what she said. It's not me. Stop fine. Can't jump can't jump these tracks. I wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, all you're gonna do is tear your clutch up doing that. First gear is the only one you need to be doing it in. So I try to tell people, and they're wearing their clutches out and stuff. Well, stop doing stuff like that. I mean, if you if you're dropping the clutch in those higher gears, it has to slip more. Uh, it slips more before it grabs. All it's doing is burning the fiber off the plates. I don't know. I guess I guess go straight. I don't know. Yeah, that's different. But dropping the clutch, different. If you're dropping the clutch to do it, you don't want to. You want to do it in first gear. What is this? A ditch in the road? Oh, it's just a bunch of dirt. That's that McFarland's out there, dirt doing that dirt out the road, huh? That's uh, McFarland's. They work for George's. That's what this is. That's what they do. They're the ones that drug that dirt out the road. Probably crossing the road right there. Uh-oh, what is that? Right there, coyote. There it goes. That dude's going, too. Man, he's flying. Left. 
Oh, stop right here. I'll show you the skip play what I'm talking about. See how this skid plate comes out further than right here? Yeah. So if you hit a brush, it comes right like that instead of grabbing this thing. No. Without it, everything gets behind this and bends and busts the shift shaft or the thing, but this thing blocks it. So your brush is going to come right here, or trees or whatever, and hit this, flip back and go on. And then on this side, instead of hitting the water pump and the oil filter stuff, it comes right by here, see? Need a brake pedal that's folding too. Yeah, I would have. But that. Flatland racing skid plate. Pretty darn good. No, left up here. Share the road with the horses. Thank you all for watching my video. You're welcome. Please subscribe and catch in the next video. <laughs> and shut my son up.